Hi there. Today we're going to talk about setting up what's called a cross-reference in InDesign. Um, cross-references are most common in technical books where they point you to another section of a book or to another document for some more information. And if we set up cross-references and ref put in the page numbers we're referring to, like in a different part of the document or to a different document completely, if either one of those documents reflows, then it will not keep the correct page number where the reference is at. So here on this screen we have a document over here called Getting Started. It's just a little intro doc that talks about how you create new files in InDesign. And we give you some topics over here. It says Document, lets you set up a page size. And I'm referring to C number 9 on page 24 of the document. Well over here on page 24 I see I have the reference here. It's talking about page 24. Here's number 9. But what happens if this document were to reflow? We add more pages. We take it away. We add text. And let's say this number 9's not on page 24 anymore. Well, then I've got to go back to my original cross-reference and manually update the page number. Well, I might miss it. I might not notice it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to set up automatic cross-references so it updates the page number. So if that other document ever re reflows or anything happens, then I can have this automatically give me the correct page number. The way I'm going to do this is I'm going to take my type tool. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here on this document I'm referring to. I'm going to click in, in this little area right up here where it says number 9, creating new documents. And I'm going to check and see what paragraph style has been used to format up that. The paragraph style that's been used here is called head 1. Now that's really important because that's how my cross-reference is going to know when this changes based upon this paragraph style and how it's used. So let me explain. Let me collapse this. Let me go back to my main document here I'm starting with. It says see number 9 on page 24 for more information. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight from number 9 through 24. I've manually put that number in. And I'm going to set up a cross-reference. So the way I do that is go to Type, Hyperlinks and Cross-References, Insert, Cross-Reference. Now it opens up this new cross-reference dialog box and up at the top it says what do you want to link to? Well, I want this cross-reference to link to a paragraph. And down below here, where is that reference? Well, the destination document is called Documents. Now, what's just happened over on this side, it has just loaded up every paragraph style in the InDesign document called Documents. So I'm going to scroll down here because I know I applied the Head 1 style to what I'm referencing. Then, over on the right-hand side, it lists all the places in that document where I have applied the Head 1 style. And if I scroll through here, I see, oh, here's number 9, creating new documents. So I'm going to reference that. Now you can even see over here on the left-hand page, it's actually kind of updated it already. Now it says number 9, colon, creating new documents. Um, on page 24. And that all that text is being pulled because the paragraph style has been applied to this paragraph on top of this document. Now I have some choices down here. It says cross reference format. It says include the full paragraph that's been formatted plus the page number. Let's say I only want to put on here um, the page number. So let me come down here and I'll just go ahead and I'll pick page number. Now as soon as I do that, over here on this original page, it says now just the page number because that's the only thing I'm having it pull and put over here. So I think I'll keep that. Now what I'm going to do next is I don't like the way it's formatted. I don't like this looks like it's kind of superscripted and it's or the raised baseline. I don't like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over on my new cross-reference panel here 
and there's a little pencil over here on the right. I'm going to click on that and that allows me to edit the cross-reference formats. So I'm going to click on the pencil and it opens up and this says cross-reference formats and I'm doing that for page numbers and what I have already built ahead of time is a character style that I'm going to use for all my cross-references. And that body style or that character style that I've already made up is in this list. I'm just going to turn this on because I'm going to apply a character style to the cross-reference text back in this first document. So right now it says none, but the one I want to use, I've already made it up. It's called body bold. It's a paragraph style. So as I look through here, I find a paragraph style that I made up called body bold dash p and I'm clicking here and now what happens I'm going to save and instantly over on the uh, first document here it now it's in all bold and showing me the 24 so let me click OK and let me click OK again now I come over here and this is the new active cross-reference right in here and you can see let me zoom up on that a little bit you can see the formatting here is all in bold in 24. So that's what my active cross-reference is. Now let's pull a fast one on InDesign here. Let's go over to the other document. Let's go to the Pages panel and I notice that this is on page 24. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the pages panel here and I'm going to drag down a new none master and I'm going to put it we'll say um, right before page 24 now that's going to force this information that I'm referring to this cross-reference it's going to move to a different page so I'm going to let up and now that cross-reference is actually on page 26 and it actually shows that to me over here in the reference document. So now if we go back over here to this document, it still says 24. Now, I wonder if this needs to be updated or saved or something or refreshed so it will actually show me page 26. So let me do this. Let's try this. Let me do a save. Okay, that didn't change. Let me take my zoom tool and click on this area to see if I change my uh, screen view, will it refresh my screen to go to page 26. Ah, there's the key. The screen actually needs refreshed. InDesign knew it was 26, but it, we've never told it to update the screen, so we didn't see the number update automatically. So now, because this cross-reference was moved to a different page, we are now having it automatically update. So there's a little bit about cross-references. Remember, the key to a cross-reference, like many things in InDesign, whether it's CS4 or CS5, is really the use of paragraph styles. And in here, we used a paragraph style specifically for these titles or these heads so we could set up a cross-reference. It would pull that data based upon that paragraph style and that use on the other document and we can build ourselves a cross-reference. Well, I hope this helps and I hope you can use this in your documents. This is one of the topics that we talk about in our um, Level 2 InDesign class. So give this a try and I hope to see you in class sometime.